Hi, welcome back to Freddie in the Shed. I hope you're well today. I've got another one of these little handheld radios up in the shack that claims to transmit on CB as a walkie-talkie. This is the Bagiton BJ7800. Currently, I can't believe the price on this, currently selling on Banggood for £29. And that's before I get you any discount on this. Also, for your £29, you get a proper, cheap, but proper, dedicated 27 megahertz telescopic antenna now i know because i bought one of these previously these are eight to twelve pounds on their own now all is included for the 29 pounds if you're interested in checking this radio out and you haven't got time to watch the video that's fine there's a link in the description and i also get a discount from banggood because i've been doing their videos for a long time so you can get it even cheaper Transmits on 27 megahertz. Well, we'll we'll test that. We'll test it, and we'll we'll take it out for a, a good range test as well. We'll see how well it works, and and also I'll do it at the end of the video. But we've got to test those harmonics, guys, because all of these new radios that are coming out, some work, some don't. So far, they've all had really bad harmonics, which kind of wipes it out. This one also does all of the shortwave band, longwave band, FM and everything else. But let's have a quick look on the bench, what we get in the box, because there are different versions. Uh, this is the CB version with a CB antenna. There's more than one version of this radio available on Banggood. This is a CB one, like I mentioned. If you want to go for the shortwave version, then you can get one that ships with a couple of these um, little popular donut antennas. Quick look in the box and I'll try and keep this as quick as possible because I know this is not the most popular part of the video. Radio itself, now it is a 10 watt radio this, but that's going to be on uh, the sort of 446 type frequencies. I don't suppose we'll get 10 watts out of it on CB, we will check that out later on. First impressions, out of the, I mean yeah it's nice, it looks nice actually, dual PTT, alloy construction there. Um, not much of a gasket, so it's not IP64 rating. It's got a Bluetooth logo on it. But I mean, you know, for 20 quid radio, pretty good. Quick look at the uh, at the battery, 7.4 volts. Does it give the many amp hours? It does not, but it does feel quite heavy. And then quickly in the box, what we get here. So this is your standard mini rubber ducky antenna. This is obviously for the um, sort of VHF band and also will pick up air band. It will pick up better than the CB antenna and you can use this one on uh, PMR 446. And that's really um, about it. Just a standard USB-C cable in this one. You can buy a kit with a uh, programming cable. It is a Kenwood K1 socket. So you've probably got a cable anyway, but you can get that. Do get a wall mounted, you know, little charger there with the shaver socket and a rather funky, yeah, I'm not sure about that, rather funky looking uh, sprung steel clip. And here we go, shortwave radio it claims. Now this is gonna have the SI4732 chip in it. So actually that's probably a fair claim. It will pick up um, shortwave. I'm more interested in the CB side of it, to be honest. Um, we've had, we have seen these radios before on shortwave. Let's clear the bench, get the battery connected, have a quick look so at it. a quick look around the radio then. I do like the layout of the keys. Also, the keypad is illuminated. I've got the frequency, frequency mode, mode, channel mode and channel mode there, and also your, your A and B button to choose which frequency you want to have active. Now it is a very nice sharp colour screen but as we know once we get outside these will be unreadable in bright sunshine. We also have, also have a band button there so I assume that when we get into the uh, shortwave side of things we should be able to check change the bands. Now as far as the frequencies that the radio works on obviously CB claims to transmit on 27 megahertz. Also, we'll transmit or TX on 18 to 64 megahertz and 135 up to 520 megahertz. The receive side of it, shortwave 2.3 up to 30 megahertz, so there's the 11 meter and the 10 meter band. And medium wave 520 to 1710, long wave, there's only one station left, 153 to 279, and then broadcast FM 64 megs DX band. 
up to 108. Right, going to do some testing then with the 27 megahertz antenna on channel 27, funny enough, on the UK FM, the Muppet channels. Now, a few people have said, you know, Fred, you should go out and test this five or six miles. Yeah, I'm not so sure at the moment. With the way these uh, harmonics are on this radio, I'm a little bit apprehensive about using it at all. Going to go down here and uh, going to go into the rugby field, which is a, a lower point than I would normally go. Noisy, noisy traffic. And then uh, I'll get, I've got the car today, so I'll go out a little bit further. I'll drive out of town and we'll try and find a high point and then we'll uh, see if we can get back further. But until they sort out the harmonics with these, um, I don't think they're really going to be a usable long distance walkie talkie. We're not very far out today, we're probably about a mile from here from the QTH but we are much lower than we would normally be and height is might. Once again this antenna, it's quite unwieldy on the, on the uh, handset. It's a big old antenna, let's give it a go. Audio check 1, 2, 3, 4, at the rugby field now, at the rugby field. Audio check 1, 2, 3, 4, at the rugby field now, at the rugby field, with the uh, budget on. Audio 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, very high, it's listening to the rugby field. Audio check 1, 2, 3, 4, at the rugby field now, at the rugby field, with the uh, budget on. Audio 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, very high, it's little, little man. So I think someone said on the comments, Fred, you know, why do you keep going on these bypasses or these overpasses, walkways? Surely all of this metal is going to weaken the signal. And you might be right, actually, yeah, it probably does reflect a bit of the signal. But the thing is, with CB, height is might. You need to be up high to get the best possible range. I haven't got any grass hills or anything to uh, to stand on so that's why I tend to go up a little bit high but I think I will back away from this because this is quite extreme um, to give you an idea where we are it's hard to really say but I sort of live way 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 down that down that road there way over my, my sort of town is way way over there so we're quite a way out here. I don't know exactly, but I'd say probably, it's probably about three miles as the crow flies, but there's a lot of infrastructure here, including this metal grid that I must get away from, but there's a lot of infrastructure. And uh, those 40 channel CB radios we had in the day, there was no way would they get out this far. So we're gonna give this a test. I'm just gonna move away from this metal railing. We'll just give it a test see if it gets back um i don't know it might it might not i haven't tested the power yet but if it is five watts it is possible range test range test number two right out in the country now range test number two range test range test number two right out in the country now range test number two on the baggage on audio one two three one two three audio Quick power test then. Radio claims to be 10 watts, but that's not going to be on this CB frequency. We've been getting about 5 watts, so quick guess before I go. This is channel 27 Muppets. There you go, so 5.5 watts. Going up. Right, I'll stop there. So, yeah, between five and a half and six watts. So it's pretty decent output for radio, but what about the harmonics? That's the next test. Harmonics test then. Yeah, I think this is where it's all gonna go a little bit wrong for the Bajuton here. Let's key up. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's pretty seriously bad, isn't it? I mean, I, I think that's the primary signal there, the fundamental one. And number one, I think that would be the secondary, 55 megahertz. But, I mean, as you can see, look, it's transmitting right across the band, and I've gone up to 216. And, yeah. 
it's not acceptable. So yeah, I don't think that isn't that is just terrible. It's a shame, but I, I'm not surprised to be honest. It's just asking so much. It's so far off its original frequency. Now I, I suppose I don't know. Maybe in China they haven't got such strict regulations about spurious harmonics, but yeah, over over here, I wouldn't I wouldn't advise using that. So the search for a usable CB transmitting walkie-talkie the search goes on and uh, this one really is not that radio why we're set up we'll just do a test on 446 and see if it does any better it should do take a while for the scope to refresh at this uh, at this speed Yeah, as I thought, it's actually done okay. It works pretty good on 446. You remember, we need four clear squares there, which would pass an FCC. We've got about five and a half, haven't we, really? So, yeah, 446, it's a clean radio. Just nowhere near on 27 megahertz. <laughs> Да, да, я все это видел. Кстати, молодожены должны были еще съесть сладкое блюдо, where you have refugees integrated into community uh, uh, trying to achieve self-reliance and, and, and contributing to the development of this community. Then you also have choices for room 101. Supposing you had the chance to get rid of some of your worst nightmares, what would they be? My guest is here to try and persuade me... To he gets a completely free choice as to where to live. He can find the place that suits him at different stages of his life, rather than being slugged by big random bills when life events happen, that means he needs to move. sub can still deliver, because with Paddy's super sub, your bet rolls over to the player coming on. Paddy power. Valid on selected leagues and markets only. Pre-match and in-play bets on qualifying player outcomes. Psychologists say that if your parents weren't huggers, you're unlikely to be a hugger yourself. That's true, we weren't attacked to our family. It didn't stop me having a rampant sex life from the minute I could. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> there's a double standard at work yes. here. Uh, yeah, my knickers will go down, you know, at regular intervals yes. for the right kind of person. Yes. <laughs> but... But no hugging was involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's true, because actually I lost my virginity to a man who just had more leather jackets than anyone else in the club <laughs> I used to go to. We'll be out October 24th. Make it nice and stick it <laughs> Come on! Brand new album, 24th of October. There's always more that I could say. Right. We've got a problem. We've got a problem with this. It just appears that the upper sideband and lower sideband settings aren't working. If anything, they seem to be reversed. And then when I was on the 27305, I was trying to use the clarifier to bring these stations in on frequency. And it just doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't matter how much you adjust it. It slightly alters the pitch but it just doesn't clarify the stations in. So there's definitely an issue going on with this budget on radio. And as it's got the SI4732, we know that works on sideband. It works reasonably well. So it's going to have to be probably a software or maybe a firmware issue with the radio. Now, I've been on the internet, had a quick look, and there's not a lot of um, information so much about this budget on version. Even, uh, I couldn't even find there a website, to be perfectly honest. But I noticed that this is very similar to the Radtel, I think it's the RT920. It looks to be about the same radio, physically. And uh, I think there's a bit more information about that one. So I'm assuming if this this error affects the budget on it, it probably should affect the Radtel as well. Bit of a shame. Running out of time on the video. So I'm going to bring this one to a close, but we're not finished yet. 
with this radio and I don't feel comfortable really leaving it here. I, I need closure on the review. I'll go away in my own time and I'll research the firmware and I'll see if I can uh, sort out that BFO and the upper and lower sideband problem. Um, I think hopefully I'll be able to uh, to do that and I'll report back on another video. A lot of people I noticed like you know reviewing these radios these days and even if they're fixing the problem with biofirma they're not really telling you how they're doing it and they're not really saying if they've got any problems and likewise with the CB no one's really going out and doing CB testing they're just showing you the harmonics and saying that it's poor but uh, you know, it does work. I mean, it does work on CB. And that, that further distance that I showed, it wasn't as far as I thought, really. It's just about two miles. It works. But those harmonics are just not acceptable, guys. As you saw, that was right across the spectrum. It's transmitting, you know, right across. And I, I stopped at 216 megs and it was still going. It's not acceptable. Um, it's a shame, really. So once again, I think we've got a decent radio here in the respect of the build quality and the price I mean under 30 pounds with my discount it's incredibly cheap but I just think they've rushed these on the market I just think they're all trying to get these on the market and sell them as a novelty CB handheld radio and they're not they're just not uh, I think they just should have been done more more research and I, I, and I do object to buy like buying a radio or even if radio is sent to me I do object with having to fix problems before I can really use it, such as this firmware update. I mean, that should have been checked before the radio was put on the market because there's always a chance that you can brick your radio in a firmware update. And that's not something I want to do on a brand new radio. I want it to work straight out of the box. I want to get the box, you know, and if, if then I want to improve it with a firmware update, that's fine, that's my risk, but it should work straight out of the box, and this one doesn't at the moment. So I can't really recommend this to you generally, unless you're someone that, you know, you like to experiment with firmware updates, and uh, you're willing to sort of double with it. I mean, it's not expensive, probably about 26, 27 pounds, but yeah, it should work out of the box. So there will be an updated video to this. I'll try and get it out as soon as I can and I'll report how I get on. And also I'll try and see if I can do something to um, test the receive on CB because I've noticed that some of these radios, the people are saying that they don't receive well on CB. It's difficult because I work on my own. So uh, I have to try and think of something. But anyway, look out for the updated uh, video, but we'll bring this one to a close. So as always, thank you ever so much for viewing my videos. There's the thumbs up for me, for your view time. If you get a second before you go, and it literally takes a second, if you could return that thumbs up down below and just click that thumbs up, I would appreciate it, helps me out. But as always, thank you. Please, please, please look after each other for me, stay safe, and of course, I'll catch you up here on the next video. Cheers, guys. Friends in the shed. Where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency